Okay, so sadly we've reached the end of the presentation. Um, I hope you have had as much fun listening as much as I have had fun um, presenting and um, doing these recordings. Um, right, so a few challenges that I just wanted to end it off with is um, it's like a, uh, a record stuck on a repeat. It's the resources our students has or does not have um, the data, the connectivity, but also the effort that these students put in. Um, it's a challenge. So um, creating that rapport and relationship with your students through the various social media platforms and using very clever ways in which to share the information with them to keep them actually still engaged um, counts a lot in their favor and ours as teachers as well. Um, students are very clever um, in creating excuses. So sometimes, you know, call their bluff. You have met them in class already. So there was one student, for example, I know he will look for the easiest route not to do something. And I messaged him privately and I told him, look, I've met you before. Um, I know you better than this and you can do. And that kind of, not 100%, um, provided him with a bit more motivation to actually submit work. Um, so you have met these students before, um, so some of them you will know as genuine excuses and some as um, these repetitive excuses which they make normal. Um, so call their bluff and again link every assignment um, to an ICAS mock and then just call it an, a lockdown uncertainty ICAS mock um, for your record keeping. Then provide them with possible solutions and alternatives before they can even come up with a possible excuse. So my students will say I don't have a PC, but then I'll tell them do you have a smartphone? So download the Microsoft Word application. So then I'll check the application and then tailor the instructions to the application to make sure that the, um, the work can be done on that app because the apps are generally limited in their functionality as opposed to your computer versions. So provide them with solutions before they come up with an excuse. Um, one disadvantage though of remote learning or e-learning is that students <coughs> can hide behind the technology. So they will just be silent. You will not hear from them at all. And because you don't see them or you know you're not going to see them the next day, um, it can become very worrisome. So try your best to communicate or make contact with all the students, um, especially those that you know you have met um, that are possible at-risk students. Um, and then as lecturers, we can only do our best and then just keep proof of what we are actually doing to um, include it in our subject files and things like that. Um, no matter how small we may think it is, it's proof nonetheless towards the efforts that we have been, you know, um, working towards to provide education and keep it alive for our students. Um, so we have reached the end. Um, I just want to thank each and everyone for sitting all the way through this presentation and then listening to the different micro lessons um, that has been presented through videos which has been uploaded on YouTube and I provided you with the links. So from this presentation itself um, you can see the different or the various methods um, and use of technology to take the same information and present it differently. Thank you for allowing me to share a few ideas and tips with you that I've picked up um, during the short period of lockdown or long period of lockdown and I hope you have learned something new and um, look forward to hearing what you have done to enhance the teaching and learning experience. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye for now.